All right, hello everyone, and now welcome to a game between Sock and, well, 120 here on Ancient Isle. It is going to be Undead versus who? Undead versus human in this 1v1 matchup. Here we have Sock spawning as? The red human. As the red human over here on the top left-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, we have 120 spawning as the? Blue Night Elf. Blue Night Elf. Blue undead. Blue undead over here on the bottom right. I'm trying to get my daughter to start co-casting. Uh, and now I want to I want to say goodbye because I have... Oh, you want to say goodbye or you have to say goodbye? Well, goodbye anyway. Simon, thank you for joining with me as short as you have. As we're going to be opening up with an altar of darkness, crypt, and ziggurat. Wow, she learned a lot. Yeah, I, she, she's, she's been listening to me cast. I've been casting longer than she's been alive, but... Then again, um, she's been hearing casting for like 100% of her life while this was just, well, a recent, recent game and recent development. That is going to be the human hero. Which human hero is it? No, this is the Archmage. Oh, YKJ2831, thank you for the cheers. And um, that is definitely going to go towards the camera upgrade. I think the camera I have um, is extremely old and it gets a little bit fuzzy and whatnot also wondering if i should be getting lights and all of those things oh 100 for crota 100 for aria they spelled your name wrong but well, you can tell them how to spell your name after the game okay all right let's go ahead and take a look at how things are oh. yep a little chase already going out on the field you can see the acolyte trying to get away acolyte is an undead unit so it doesn't regenerate hit points until it is back on blight a little bit of a run back let's take a look the openings are going to be a death knight going up against an archmage no big surprises here of of the sort as we are going to be looking at the death knight using that rod of necromancy very early on and then trust trying to add and build up fairly fast death knight or oh, death knight not even bothering with the footman footman just wandering back or through here as the death knight may be trying to go after is it going to kill another sheep no it isn't uh, what is going on here the death knight just simply routed and is going to go ahead and go straight for the harassment archmage just right here denies that water elemental is going to be able to back off as sock does take a death coil to the well that's definitely not to the face but a death coil to the horse maybe as the archmage now tries to head back all right archmage is holding in position right there trying to make sure that it is difficult to get inside skeletal minions are going to get taken down there that well arcane damage that feedback damage enough to deal bonus damage to that skeletal minion not all feedback damage deals bonus damage to skeletons or any other summon units only the attack from this arcane tower coming back the other way archmage is going to go ahead and put some pressure onto that death knight death knight now still wandering in here trying to get some additional kills gets another death call off onto that archmage and well the archmage's hit points are still rather limited as we're going to take a look the death knight has to choose whether or not it wants to try and do harassment as the death knight does get a death coil off there denying level two to the archmage archmage does get to level two will be picking up that brilliance aura now in just a moment as the water elemental gets a uh, well water elemental gonna get taken down death knight doesn't get the final shot off there at least it doesn't look like it as we look at the archmage now heading back one peasant taken down one stolen creep and maybe a water elemental yeah with that amount of experience maybe the water elemental was in fact taken out as we are looking back at the undead base needs more ziggurats to try and train up those precious precious crypt fiends skeletal minion just going to be feeding experience to that archmage one more fireball should do it there it goes down in the back taking out that skeletal minion there as the archmage going to go ahead and clear out this 53311 creep camp water elemental now being dropped footman um, absorbing purges and shaking it off doesn't have very much to worry about as the water elemental is tanking much of the damage from that knoll overseer you can take a look at the archmage wants to pick up that tome of strength does in fact get it as the knoll overseer and this last knoll taken down level three not get did not get to level three well as there was a bit of a delay a little bit of lost experience off to the north even with that little bit of experience though i do not believe the archmage would get to level three well maybe now all right five four four creep camp gonna go ahead and get cleared out forest troll berserkers will get cleared out relatively fast as the death knight now playing up in the catch-up race 
level two now on the death knight going up against a level three archmage archmage does uh, more importantly though have a ring of regeneration ring of regeneration allowing that archmage to well stay outside much much longer since it is regenerating an additional two hit points a second he's probably had that for about a good 30 uh, what well, I, I would say for about a good minute by now so that's a, an additional 120 hit points on that archmage that he would not normally have and with that said you can you can imagine if that archmage was 120 hit points lower it would not look nearly as healthy and may actually want to back off we do have an expansion already up and running from Sock off of that militia clear here at that nine o'clock position. Archmage gonna go in and try and engage their death knight. Is he gonna get a death coil off? Yes, uses the death coil on a water elemental. Now, that is going to give experience to the Death Knight, as we know, but in terms of actual losses for Sock, it, it isn't very much. Water Elemental are timed life units, so you know they're going to be falling anyways. Meanwhile, this Footman down to 78 hit points. Is it going to be able to get away? I do believe so. Um, right now, Archmage is going to be backing off. Yeah, um, Ring of Regeneration is a very, very powerful item, but a lot of professionals sell it because it has diminishing returns. Yep, there is double. Um, as you can tell, I am using the view of Sock, hence, or excuse me, not Sock, um, of 120. Hence, you cannot tell that is an illusion unless you can actually see it here. Yes, Lich is now out on the field. Death Knight, dangerously low on hit points, needs to head back home, stand on Blight. As you can see, the illusion is currently out on the field. We are getting up an Obsidian statue. And that Obsidian Statue will be able to heal up that Death Knight rather quickly as, well, it doesn't really want to venture forth. All of this, though, is buying time for Sock to set up this expansion, get some Clarity Potions, and also that Healing Salve. Clarity Potion, Healing Salve, um, gonna be able to refresh all of these footmen here. We should be looking at a tech to Tier 3. And once we get to Tier 3, I am interested to see what that third hero is going to be. Death Knight once again using a Death Coil in that situation. Not quite sure if I agree with it as we see another illusion trying to run by Archmage. Well, pretty much Archmage knows that it is not real. Death Knight pretty much going to try and ignore it. But hey, this one's real. It had a Clarity Potion and now damage is being added back up. Purge onto the Death Knight. Death Knight trying to shake it off. Water Elemental trying to get into position as well as another Obsidian Statue joins in on the fight. The remaining footmen a little bit too far. No, they're going to be going after the Null Wardens instead as the Archmage now trying to bully the Death Knight around. So far that is has worked out fairly well. Double Water Elementals all the way putting down a lot of pressure as the Death Knight doesn't want to stick around for very long. Death Knight should be able to get off some Death Coils here in just a moment as it does have a good amount of mana, as we now see some gargoyles in the air. Frost Nova, Death Coil onto the Archmage. Archmage now hiding in the back, does have that Ring of Regeneration, as that one Crypt Fiend is currently surrounded. Footmen do have Defend, and Archmage able to finish off that Crypt Fiend as the surround was lost. Gonna go ahead and try and surround the Lich. Lich is dangerously in trouble. Death Knight is gonna be able to get off another Death Coil. Dangerously low, now he's in on level 3, and gets it in time. Obsidian Statue heals just enough to keep the Lich alive, as now the Death Knight sitting at level 3, gonna go ahead and try and chase down some units, gets a final shot off in the back. We are at tier 3. We should be looking at an up... Um, well, the everyone's favorite orb to hate, unless you are undead, Orb of Corruption, a very powerful item giving the undead units the ability to remove armor. Beautiful micro right there. Yeah, you gotta admit, as the Lich now going after the Illusion. Illusion, well, Illusion is just gonna go poof right there. Gargoyles are, are, are out onto the field. Yeah, the, the gargoyle is just creeping around. It is going to perhaps try and steal a little bit of experience. But more importantly, go ahead and try and remove a lot of this healing. Archmage, once again, has taken a lot of damage. Is going to be backing off. But you have seen that ring of regeneration. Um, he's constantly, pretty much been constantly regenerating additional hit points throughout this match. And he's had this ring for about five minutes now. So that is 600 additional hit points. He has saved himself a potion of healing or at least a scroll of regeneration. Death Knight now looking to pull its way back here. You can see the Lich is going to be able to get some damage. Um, Orb of Corruption does not remove the armor on buildings, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would be extremely powerful. 
as we're looking at the Archmage and the Mountain King now moving on out. Some players had asked me if on a ranged hero is a Orb of Fire better or worse than Claws of Attack plus 9? And to be honest, I don't know the answer to that question. So I'm sure if curious people really want to know, they can go ahead and do the math, see how effective it really is. As we were taking a look, Arcane Tower removing much of the mana from that Lich could have tried to switch targets onto that Death Knight. Death Knight going to come across inside here, perhaps get some Death Coils as well as the Death Knight now down to 248 hit points or mana. All right, more damage being added. The Guard Towers, however, starting to poke across a bit too much. And the Mountain King... Perhaps fine with all of this. As you take a look, we are going to be going into destroyers in the air. Destroyer, very low on hit points. It's going to get taken down. Down to 37 hit points. And the Archmage with double claws of attack plus 6. Able to get that final shot. Wow, a little bit of RNG right there going in favor of the Archmage. As flying machines are now out onto the field. Back down across here, the army of destroyers. And the, a horde of undead now going after all of these units here as the guard towers are taking tremendous damage. However, mana is starting to get de um, well de depleted from these destroyers and that means that this expansion is going to get taken down. 120 with the strategy for destroyers into the air with mana to take out all of that there. Crypt Fiends now trying to make their way back out. Death Knight now wandering around here. Acolyte being brought over. Not quite sure what to make of it as the Archmage fairly happy with what he sees right now. Water Elemental just absorbing a, a lot of damage. Mountain King up to level 3 already, as perhaps the Mountain King should give the Ring of Regeneration to that Archmage here. Fly Machines are going to be here, ready to go. Do we see a Paladin as well? No, only Spellbreakers and Knights. No, Paladin is back across here as the Destroyers are trying to go to town. All right, Destroyer is going to destroy much of this base. Only two Guard Towers and one Arcane Tower off over here. Spellbreaker is going to go ahead and finish off some units. You can take a look. Red Drake quickly taken out. Was an item dropped. Mountain King picks up Rune Bracers, which are incredibly helpful. Still no Priest to be had. Panda is now out onto the field. So that Breath of Fire is going to be effective at blowing out all, all of those well, flying machines. Null Overseer back across over here. Paladin desperately wants to get to level 2. Does, in fact, get it. No Staff of Sanctuary, though, as the flying machines perhaps looking to get into the proper spot. Undead Army now making their way down to the south. If you say Horde, that's usually Orc units, not Undead. Anyways... Death Knight taking a lot of damage, down to 97 hit points, being forced to use the Scroll of Town portal. Some low hit point units could easily get taken out. Panda does not get a Breath of Fire off in time, as you now see... What is this? Um, is that a Scroll of Town portal? Oh, wow, a Scroll of Town portal away from the battle. And uh, this was a, perhaps a little bit of a preemptive Scroll of Town portal. The Acolyte did actually spot all of this. Scroll of Regeneration now being used, and this is going to buy time to heal up all of those units. All right, back across over here. Let's take a look. Um, healing Ward. Going to be able to heal up much of these units here. Panda looking to get to level 2. Not going to be able to do it as there just isn't enough experience. Sock now clearing out the bottom left side of the map. That Red Drake will get taken down. Paladin picks up a Robe of the Magi. Big, big item could be given to the Archmage or even the Mountain King if the Mountain King actually had room. Rune Bracers perhaps should be sitting on the Paladin um, since the Paladin cannot heal himself. Items have been transferred around. Let's take a look. Stormbolt onto the Crypt Fiend. Panda unable to... Uh, well, Panda unable to heal that there as a Holy Light. 200 hit point instantaneous attack there. Such strong items right now. Two Claws of Attack plus six Gloves of Haste. That Archmage dealing plus 12 damage. That is... A significant amount of damage adding the gloves of haste it is attacking faster as a knight getting caught in transit oh fly machines could get taken down again one two fly machines six supply instantly lost 52 supply compared to 57 as the armies are going to engage sock going to be forced to cancel one scout tower right there we're going to be flying again flying machines trying to shoot down some of those units panda does get off a of breath of fire yes will blow over many of those flying machines and the panda well, is it going to be able to finish off enough of these flying machines to really cause a problem with the remainder of the destroyers? Destroyers are now in the air. Archmage is the only thing that is left here. Healing Ward quickly gets focused down there as the Mountain King tries to go, at, go to town. 
All right, really just be focusing on perhaps the Paladin, but there is, or the Knights. Oh, that Knight getting Staff of the Sanctuary away at the right moment. Lich transfers a potion of invulnerability just in time. Death Knight, does he get a Death Coil off? Yes, it does. Pretty much back up to decent health as the Death Knight will be forced to back away. A, a handful of Destroyers in the air trying to finish off all of this as a Holy Light finishes off the Lich. All right, are the Destroyers going to be enough to finish the remainder of this base here? Destroyers are all right here. There you go. Going to go ahead and go after those uh, units. Meanwhile, Fly Machine is going to get taken down. Water Elementals, thank you. That is absolutely tasty as the units are now looking to back up. This are, this one Destroyer heading back once more. Are we going to see another Devour Magic? More Fly Machines getting um, joining in on the flight or on the fight as the flight chase is on. Destroyers need a head away. The fly machines trying to close in on that distance. Archmage, if it can launch a fireball against that one unit, yes, does in fact finish it off. The movement speed just slightly faster. Um, movement speed very fast. Destroyers, I thought, were very fast as well. But yes, they are very fast. But then again, that unholy aura would have made a big difference right there. I bet water elementals taste like ice cream. Um, maybe water elementals taste like Evian. I don't know. But. All right. All right. Panda in a weird spot right now, trying to clear up the remainder of this creep camp. Needs to get to level three. Without that level two breath of fire, the flying machines, uh, well, they just simply don't get low enough on life at a fast pace. Meanwhile, flying machines are now trying to make their way over. Mountain King gets in a storm bolt and could finish off the Death Knight before the Death Knight makes its way out, getting bashed again. Oh, are we going to perhaps see a holy light as the Death Knight oh, wanders back around? That is a lot of destroyers. They need to start absorbing a bit of mana in order to engage here. Death Knight does not have an Orb of Corruption. Orb of Corruption would be a very big deal there as the Death Coil is saving up some of those units. Obsidian Statue is trying to fight back, but the Flying Machines are just dominating the skies. And that is going to be the end of that as the units are still engaging back and forth. One Destroyer actually going to get focused down very quickly, down to 105 hit points. Still alive here as the panda uh, well panda is currently down no breath of fire stormbolt onto the lich lich gonna be losing some precious mana as well as it tries to head to the back and there is the game sock easily taking this game from 120 thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it